Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Millennium Dawn. Uh, so, you need to let us continue on from the last left off. So, Ukraine is now officially a puppet state of ours. We're currently in another Korean War as well, but nothing's actually, like, happened at all, even a little bit. So, wait, the 61 sent, uh, yeah, Ron's sending division to Ukraine. And I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm just kind of surprised. Also, India, I want to... Have you on automatic? Is it you that I have on automatic as well? Yes. Okay. And we no longer need to worry about having it in uh, in Ukraine. Who else would I want to just automatically be influencing right now? Like my my next guess would be like Moldova. So let let's just passively influence Moldova. See if we can get the whole gang back together. And maybe like a I mean a Ron eh. Like, we have, like, like, we're number one influencer with a couple of smaller countries. But the problem with that is, like, it's like we're number one, but with, like, 2%. So, it's like, it's not, it doesn't really even count, does it? Nicaragua. Venezuela next. We're at 8% here. Venezuela's accepted. So I guess we'll spread some influence in Venezuela as well. I mean, it'd be a good source of oil if we ever need it. We do have Azerbaijan uh, back in the Union. So we might not really need the uh, the extra oil, but it still would be nice to have for sure. Okay, we got our units ready to go. I've now got to figure out again how this even works. Okay, 200 political power. I mean, it's very expensive. Macedonian election. You guys have landed. Fantastic. I mean, I now want you guys to immediately come in here. Uh, paratroopers, we're going to make you, let's just say, the Black Army. And what I need to do is, while you're going to go to try to uh, reinforce that position, I need to kind of push everywhere. We might take heavier casualties than I would like. 58? I mean, these are actually some good numbers as well. But I need, yes! This is what I was looking for. Okay. So, Red Army, your job is to push your way across Korea. And you know what? Be as aggressive as you can about that. Look! There we go. This is what we needed to see, baby. Take Korea from the south. Basically make this a weird little strip of land. We can have more uh, aircraft as well. Um, I, I should have more planes somewhere, right? More planes somewhere doing nothing. Or are you all here? I genuinely... Do I have any planes I could deploy? Probably not. Actually, yes, I do. I actually have a ton of aircraft I can deploy. Fantastic. All of you... Your transport plane. Basically, just do what you can. Just be here. Okay, I mean, this is... Okay, so the, 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 the war in, in Korea should be over pretty, pretty soon. Again, South Korea, what were you thinking? What did you, what did you expect to happen here? How close? You're about halfway dead. And we're going to take these cities. We do have some strong uh, resistance here. We are going to take Seoul, of course. But we're going to need Seoul. I think we can get an encirclement here. Around uh, this city. This will be considered an encirclement as well. So let's move around like this. How many units? We got five units here. All of Black Army should be on this front line. Oh, wait. Do you connect? Oh, you do connect now. Well, well, well. well I guess green and uh, yellow. You just start moving in here as well. If there's somewhere that you can push, I would love for you to do it. Uh, I'm going to send you to Seoul to see what maybe uh, intelligence you could gather, theoretically. One unit here. You should die in but a moment. What are casualty rates looking at now? 16,000. So, I mean, honestly, the, the, there's not many people that have actually died in this war, which is nice. 
Like all things considered, this is damage. Okay, so this airport is actually damaged. Nobody's actually uh, able to really deploy there. 84. I'm going to move you here. Again, this will be considered an encirclement. And again, we, we will need soul. A lot of Soviet forces have uh, fallen here. But we're rectifying the mistakes of 1953, baby. Uh, what do we want to take next? Uh, defense bonus. All, everyone else just get more defense. Well, you're... All frontline battalions get more defense. Give me actually better tanks. Tanks are cool. The, cal the Caliphate of Indonesia. Okay. Well, apparently... Well, you've, you've broken off. But Indonesia has now gone... Uh, Islamist. That's fine. Are you... What are you? Asian member. And I want to... I think we are passively uh, putting points here. Give more guns to India. Throw more points into India as well. Give guns to Moldova. You've rejected it. You guys smell. But like, okay. Question. How are you still alive? Take this area here. How many men have we lost? If, if we've... 16,000... I mean, it's not so bad, right? I want to take this city from you. It's worth five victory points. That's nice. I mean, I... I State-run capitalism. More stability. Nationalized three factories from foreign businesses. I don't know if actually we have any uh, factories from foreign businesses, to be honest with you. Interest reduction packages are put in place. Okay. I mean, I would I would love to spend less money on interest. Defense also now costs $23 billion. Holy shit. Who knew that war was so insanely expensive? I'm sure somebody did, but not me. Okay, Red Army also need you to stop attacking in places where it doesn't make any sense. Belarus is preparing for new elections. Really? What, what, what's your main ideology? I mean, 44... You, you'd think that we would still... Um, UK is actually number one here. Okay, we need to start putting more points into Belarus. And also reducing the, uh, the autonomy of Belarus as well. Like, they shouldn't... Um, be this powerful. Then Marino's going to have new elections as well. Putting pressure on you. All of you should be attacking this province. Like, get them the hell out of there. And you two, special forces, Spetsnatch, go join White Army. I don't even remember where they're located. I think in Finland. You guys go and do that. Okay, you've been captured. Korea is now down to 25%. So we, we will need to take Seoul. But, I mean, Seoul, as you can see, there are a lot of units in Seoul. I mean, we could try to encircle them. Like, we try to take, like, uh, this province here. And you got great defense. Which is a real issue. Wait, 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 wait. Belarus has elected a nationalist? They put in the monarchist. What the fuck? Plus forces. Belarus. Baby. What the hell are you talking about? Afghanistan gives a bailout. No. Okay. Sure. Radical shift. Belarus. What the hell are you talking about? The Army Socialist Party, not aligned. It's San Mar Wait, San Marino? I'm pretty sure that symbol means that you're actually communist. You're libertarian. What the hell? What are you talking about? 
No, no, but they are considered a communist party. Because this, this is... I, I, I don't know what's going on in San Marino, to be honest with you. And to be honest, I don't think I want to know what's going on in San Marino. I can't see where the city even is located. How do I kill the remaining South Korean forces? Like, they are so heavily dug in. I, I don't know. Okay, Moldova has elected uh, you guys. That's fine. They have so many. You know what I'm going to do? I'm guessing TD bug. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that you probably are okay. NKO. Wait, what, what are you? What are you? Um. If I zoom out far enough, I can just like. Okay, so you're just core. Sell all core. Basically, I mean, there, there's no way. Um, I don't think we would ever be able to actually break through that province. Because there is just. Um, they just had so many units. And also, like, we, we obviously we won. Give all of that to uh, North Korea. And North Korea basically doesn't even exist anymore. It's now just Korea. Uh, so Yellow Army, we're going to have you stationed on the Chinese border. Paratroopers, let's send you to send you back to Moscow. Red Army, we will station you on the border with Turkey. And Green Army, let's station you on the border with Iran. Not that I think we'll be going to war with Iran, but it's just like a safety measure. And you guys join Yellow Army. Excellent. Well, we've we've won the Korean War. Do you get like a special? F Is there a special like thing in your tree for um, Kim Jong Il's death? Kim Jong Un, Junta Ku, Kim Jong Nam. Is there, um, Kree Unified? So there is a, um, a, a unique focus tree for if you... Man, it's actually, like, massive. Okay. What's well, fine by me. Again, China's still in their own war with Taiwan. I mean, I don't know if they're ever going to make any progress here. I mean, they're trying to. They're trying to make naval invasion near Taipei, but it's like, it's never going to... I, I just can't see it actually working for them. But I, I don't know how many units um, they have. By the way, how much money are we... We're actually now also making a profit. Oh my god. They said it could not be done. Give me a tax rate increase. That That's the... This is the... This is the uh, the war tax increase, basically. But we're now making money, right? And that and that's what I'm happy to see. Belarus is rejected. Belarus, you're my puppet state. You don't get to reject this. What the hell like what are you talking about? This is why we shouldn't have allowed uh, Belarus to have elections, to be honest with you. It just it just doesn't work out for anyone. I mean, we're, we're still putting more points into... Uh, give you vehicles. India's rejected. India, please. I just want to be friends with you. And who's the other person we're influencing right now? Moldova. Moldova, you want guns? Of course. Who, again, who doesn't want rifles? It's a fun time for everyone. Oh, I didn't actually annex all of South Korea. I forgot to take this island. That is my bad. Uh, mark all states. 
transfer ownership, please. My bad. I, I didn't see that there was a province left there. So now do you have Korea is unified? I know there's like a special thing you have to do. But Korea is now officially unified. We, we removed the uh, the remnants of the South Korean government, which I accidentally left on an island just south of the peninsula. We get a war goal against you. I mean, it's like I could declare war, but I don't think I have any way to actually get to. I mean, I could maybe paratrooper. Do you have any units? Four to eight. I mean, I could think about it. Like, declare war. India and China like us less. And I really, really want India to be a fan of me. Are you going up or going down? I, I saw the number change. It's going up, actually. Interesting. Okay. I thought you were um, leaning westward. But maybe, maybe not. Okay, let's overcome the 1998 crisis. Better late than never, I, I suppose. How do you guys all look? I mean, everybody here is like, they're looking pretty good. I think our communism in Europe uh, special thing is going to be uh, expiring soon, right? June, I believe? Yes. I don't think it's actually one as anything. I mean, I guess San Marino elected the, the Communist Party, but I think that's about it. Actually, if I'm not mistaken as well, I'm pretty sure like San Marino has actually uh, has elected the Communist Party before, like in real life. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, but like no points in Japan. I'm just trying to think, like who else we can start influencing. Right now, I think the answer is like not many people because we don't have the influence for that or the political power, I should say. Integration of the United States, stage one point plus oh seven. The thing is, like I don't like I, I don't know why that's gone. I'm guessing it's because of their uh, Belarus is changing ideology. If I had 200 political power, I was, was going to say, 200 political power, we could, uh, cue them. But I request that they have more than 30% influence, which we don't actually have. And they keep rejecting my op- Belarus, you're my puppet state. You can't reject it. But if I were to send you military, does that, does this reduce or- Monthly autonomy impact on in case of full delivery. Minus 0.21. So if I give them guns, it reduces their autonomy. If I'm reading this right. Minus 3.7. I'm guessing it's based on like what we give you. I mean, the number is green, which I'm assuming is like, that's good. They're a negative... They're one... Ugh. Well, like, I could give you some convoys. Like, what if I just, like, gave you, like, a thousand convoys? Nine to seventy? There you go, Belarus. I don't know when you'll ever need this. But you're now down to... Well, I think once it's delivered... Did I say that? Was that monthly or was that a one-time shipment? Okay, it's a one-time shipment. Minus 70 points. I have a bunch of T-80s. Right, they don't get that many points. I mean, convoys they love. They don't have a port, so I don't know where they're, where they're going to be putting those convoys. But they love it. They love the idea of a convoy. We could uh, reduce autonomy for Belarus again. Because at this point, clearly Belarus does not know how to govern itself. They elected the Social Democrats, now they've elected the Monarchist. Like, that, like, that's not how things work. You know what I mean? We'll give Sirius some guns. Sirius accepted. I'm going to throw another... Uh, Manipulate politics in here. We're going to send Afghanistan guns as well. 
And then I'm going to manipulate your politics like five times. Basically, I don't want them to... I mean, some, some of you guys are not going to uh, switch out. India doesn't want my weapons. I'm guessing because India maybe just has too many guns. Which I guess makes sense. How's, how about, how's Venezuela doing, by the way? Venezuela said yes. Give you some. How much money does it cost to bail you out? Six billion? That's that. You've heard Venezuela. I'm trying to give you money. And yet you reject it. If I were to land. Because you. Are you all cores? Yes. If you can theoretically land in like every Nepalese city, where, where, where are my um? Go to this airport in Afghanistan, and then every single transport plane fly here. Maybe. Then you can do something? I don't know. Okay, Germany's elected the Social Democrats. Bulgaria's elected the Communist Party. Well, well, well. They would actually take the... Uh, what's, what's the problem? It's world tension, right? Yes. Got a non-aggression pact with Bulgaria. Yeah, I mean, I want, to get, I, want, I want Bulgaria to be my friend now. The thing is... Yeah, they're just, they're, they just, uh... What if, what if we just kind of skirt around those rules just a little bit? You know what I mean? Like, what if we just, like, did a little whoop? A little whoop? And we, we just bring them into the faction anyways, right? The other thing, like, the reason we're puppeting all these countries is because... The, re the reason we're puppeting all these countries is because... Um... I wanted to join my faction, but if like a country is like willing to join the faction on their own, like Bulgaria. Wait, are you also comp? No, you're. Wait, why are you gonna say yes? You have reason to accept. Wait, aren't I got because I kind of allowed Diplo right? The so Belarus, I'm already in my faction. Bulgaria's, we're not gonna invite you because again, you have to at least be communist. Like, don't be uh, ridiculous. Syria, they would say yes, they're already in. And Mongolia will invite you to my faction as well. Korea, you're already in my faction. Cuba's in my faction. And this is in my faction, Belarus. So I think that's basically everybody. Again, I think it's funny that Norway would say yes. I'm guessing because they're feeling threatened by us. They're likely to accept emerging outlook pressure. They're feeling threatened. Okay, but anyway, we'll, we'll turn off... Uh, well, actually, first... And then we're going to turn off Allow Diplo. But again, like, if, if they're communists, like, I don't see why I would, uh, reject their offer to join my faction. I mean, I'll, I'll start putting influence in them now. How much money would it cost to send you? Nine billion? I'll send you nine billion. Again, I actually, I actually make money now. Also, I should be paying off my debt then. Oh, I... There we go. I accidentally uh, took, a, took a loan instead of uh, giving one out. But I'm glad we're making money. Reese moves towards the right. That's fine. I mean, I'm, at this point, we might as well puppet Mongolia. We're already up to 63%. We might as well keep that ball rolling in that uh, in that regard. Um, What else? It is 2005 now. I guess we go with like 2005 equipment. Sounds more than okay. I think it's funny that, like, you know, Macedonia would say yes. But the problem is that, is that they're led by Agent 47, so I'm not, I'm not too sure if we really want them in our on our side. Okay, so this... Reduce uh, interest reduction packages. Globalized trade economy. That would actually be good for us. Yes. I would be. I would like that. How do I? I want something that would actually fight my. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Focus on civilian. Yes, focus on civilian uh, stuff now. Thank you. Nothing here we care about. Reduce autonomy. For no one yet. How do I um? Cheap loans. How do I use these uh, interest reduction packages that are put in place? Or is that just a 
special way of saying that we just get a uh, idea. I mean, whatever that did, reducing the interest rate, ten, beautiful. Like, like, look at this. It actually reduced our uh, payment by like two billion dollars or something like that, which is absurd. But I think that at least for right now, this is gonna be a great time for us to end off this episode. Thanks for watching, Mr. Anthem. If you enjoyed, a thumbs up. Not doing, you can always thumb down. If you want to see more? Subscribe and goodbye. Oh, did I not? My recording's still going.